So together, we will build a future where we bring down the cost of living. That will be my focus every single day as president, because while inflation is down and wages are up, prices are still too high. You know it and I know it. And unlike Donald Trump, who had $400 million handed to him on a silver platter, and don't forget he filed for bankruptcy six times, the great businessman. Unlike him, I grew up in a middle-class neighborhood with a working mother who kept a strict budget and did everything she could to make sure that my sister and I had all we needed. I come from the middle class, and I will never forget where I come from. Never. And so my common sense plan will lower the prices you pay on everything from prescription medication to groceries to housing. On the other hand, Donald Trump will raise costs on you and your family. In fact, independent economists have analyzed both of our plans and found mine will cut your costs and strengthen our economy, while his will increase inflation and lead to a recession by the middle of next year. And his agenda is laid out in Project 2025. You know, I say everywhere, And I know we've got a lot of students here, and I have to tell you, I just find it really interesting that they put that, that thing in writing. I, they put it in writing. They, they bound it. They published it. They handed it out. And then they expect we're not going to talk about it? Are you kidding me? And when you read it, you will see it is a detailed and dangerous blueprint for what he plans to do if he is elected president. Donald Trump will impose a 20% national sales tax on everyday basic necessities, which economists have estimated will cost the average American family an additional $4,000 a year. Contrast. On the other hand, I'm going to take on corporate price gouging. I've done it before, and I will do it again. Donald Trump will give massive tax cuts, like he did before, to billionaires and the biggest corporations. He did it the last time. He's going to do it again. I, on the other hand, will give middle-class tax cuts to 100 million Americans, including $6,000 for the first year of a child's life, because I understand how that will lift America's children out of poverty, which what must be one of our highest goals. Donald Trump will get rid of the $35 a month cap on insulin for our seniors. He will cut Medicare and Social Security. In fact, economists say he will bankrupt Social Security in the next six years. And understand what that means. So many of the seniors in America, that's their only source of income. That's the only way they're able to pay their rent and buy food. I have a plan to support our seniors so they can grow older with dignity and so their families are not overwhelmed by the cost of home health care. <laughs> On top of that, my plan will bring down the cost of housing, cut taxes for small businesses because small businesses are the backbone of our economy. And lower health care costs because I believe health care should be a right and not just a privilege of those who can afford it. <laughs> Donald Trump, on the other hand, intends to end the Affordable Care Act and take us back, which would take us back to a time when insurance companies could deny people with pre-existing conditions. You remember what that was like? Well, we are not going back. We are not going back. 